Philip II of Macedon Greek, Philippos B. Ho Macedon 382-336 BC was the king Basilis of the Kingdom of Macedon from 359 BC until his assassination in 336 BC. He was a member of the Argid dynasty of Macedonian kings, the third son of King Amintas III of Macedon, and father of Alexander the Great and Philip III. The rise of Macedon, its conquest and political consolidation of most of classical Greece during the reign of Philip II was achieved in part by his reformation of the ancient Macedonian army, establishing the Macedonian phalanx that proved critical in securing victories on the battlefield. After defeating the Greek city-states of Athens and Thebes at the Battle of Chaeronea in 338 BC, Philip II led the effort to establish a federation of Greek states known as the League of Corinth, with him as the elected hegemon and commander-in-chief of Greece for a planned invasion of the Achaemenid Empire of Persia. However, his assassination by a royal bodyguard, Pausanias of Orestes, led to the immediate succession of his son Alexander, who would go on to invade the Achaemenid Empire in his father's stead. Biography Youth and accession Philip was the youngest son of the King Amintas III and Eurydice I. In his youth, Philip was held as a hostage in Illyria under Bardilus and then was held in Thebes c. 368-365 BC, which was then the leading city of Greece. While a captive there, Philip received a military and diplomatic education from Epaminondas, became Eromenos of Pelopidas, and lived with Pamines, who was an enthusiastic advocate of the sacred band of Thebes. In 364 BC, Philip returned to Macedon. The deaths of Philip's elder brothers, King Alexander II and Perdiccas III, allowed him to take the throne in 359 BC. Originally appointed regent for his infant nephew Amintas IV, who was the son of Perdiccas III, Philip succeeded in taking the kingdom for himself that same year. Philip's military skills and expansionist vision of Macedonian greatness brought him early success. He first had to remedy a predicament which had been greatly worsened by the defeat against the Illyrians in which King Perdiccas himself had died. The Paeonians and the Thracians had sacked and invaded the eastern regions of Macedonia, while the Athenians had landed, at Methone on the coast, a contingent under a Macedonian pretender called Argius. <laughs> Early military career Using diplomacy, Philip pushed back the Paeonians and Thracians promising tributes, and crushed the 3,000 Athenian hoplites 359. Momentarily free from his opponents, he concentrated on strengthening his internal position and, above all, his army. His most important innovation was doubtless the introduction of the Phalanx Infantry Corps, armed with the famous Sarissa, an exceedingly long spear, at the time the most important army corps in Macedonia. Philip had married Audeta, great-granddaughter of the Illyrian king of Dardania, Bardilus. However, this did not prevent him from marching against the Illyrians in 358 and crushing them in a ferocious battle in which some 7,000 Illyrians died 357. By this move, Philip established his authority inland as far as Lake Ored and earned the favor of the Epirotes. The Athenians had been unable to conquer Amphipolis, which commanded the gold mines of Mount Pangion. So Philip reached an agreement with Athens to lease the city to them after its conquest, in exchange for Pydna lost by Macedon in 363. However, after conquering Amphipolis, Philip kept both cities 357. As Athens had declared war against him, he allied Macedon with the Chalcidian League of Olynthus. He subsequently conquered Potidaea, this time keeping his word and ceding it to the League in 356. In 357 BC, Philip married the Epirote princess Olympias, who was the daughter of the king of the Molotians. Alexander was born in 356, the same year as Philip's racehorse won at the Olympic Games. During 356 BC, Philip conquered the town of Crenides and changed its name to Philippi. He then established a powerful garrison there to control its mines, which yielded much of the gold he later used for his campaigns. In the meantime, his general Parmenion defeated the Illyrians again. In 355-354 he besieged Methone, the last city on the Thermaic Gulf controlled by Athens. During the siege, Philip was injured in his eye. It was later removed surgically. Despite the arrival of two Athenian fleets, the city fell in 354. 
Philip also attacked Abdera and Marinia, on the Thracian coast 354 Third Sacred War Philip was involved in the Third Sacred War which had begun in Greece in 356. In summer 353 he invaded Thessaly, defeating 7,000 Phocians under the brother of Onomarchus. The latter however defeated Philip in the two succeeding battles. Philip returned to Thessaly the next summer, this time with an army of 20,000 infantry and 3,000 cavalry including all Thessalian troops. In the Battle of Crocus Field 6,000 Phocians fell, while 3,000 were taken as prisoners and later drowned. This battle earned Philip immense prestige, as well as the free acquisition of Pharae. Philip was also Tagus of Thessaly, and he claimed as his own Magnesia, with the important harbour of Pegasi. Philip did not attempt to advance into central Greece because the Athenians, unable to arrive in time to defend Pegasi, had occupied Thermopylae. There were no hostilities with Athens yet, but Athens was threatened by the Macedonian party which Philip's gold created in Euboea. From 352 to 346 BC, Philip did not again travel south. He was active in completing the subjugation of the Balkan hill country to the west and north, and in reducing the Greek cities of the coast as far as the Hebrus. To the chief of these coastal cities, Olynthus, Philip continued to profess friendship until its neighboring cities were in his hands. In 349 BC, Philip started the siege of Olynthus, which, apart from its strategic position, housed his relatives Aridaeus and Menelaus, pretenders to the Macedonian throne. Olynthus had at first allied itself with Philip, but later shifted its allegiance to Athens. The latter, however, did nothing to help the city, its expeditions held back by a revolt in Euboea probably paid for by Philip's gold. The Macedonian king finally took Olynthus in 348 BC and razed the city to the ground. The same fate was inflicted on other cities of the Chalcidian Peninsula. Macedon and the regions adjoining it having now been securely consolidated, Philip celebrated his Olympic Games at Diem. In 347 BC, Philip advanced to the conquest of the eastern districts about Hebrus, and compelled the submission of the Thracian prince Cersebleptus. In 346 BC, he intervened effectively in the war between Thebes and the Phocians, but his wars with Athens continued intermittently. However, Athens had made overtures for peace, and when Philip again moved south, peace was sworn in Thessaly. Topic: <laughs> Later campaigns 346 to 336 BC. With key Greek city-states in submission, Philip II turned to Sparta. He sent them a message: "If I win this war, you will be slaves forever." In another version, he warned you are advised to submit without further delay, for if I bring my army into your land, I will destroy your farms, slay your people, and raise your city." According to both accounts, the Spartans' laconic reply was one word, if. Philip II and Alexander both chose to leave Sparta alone. Later, Macedonian arms were carried across Epirus to the Adriatic Sea. In 345 BC, Philip conducted a hard-fought campaign against the Ardeoioi Ardae, under their king Pluratus I, during which Philip was seriously wounded in the lower right leg by an Ardean soldier. In 342 BC, Philip led a great military expedition north against the Scythians, conquering the Thracian fortified settlement Eumolpia to give it his name, Philippopolis modern In 340 BC, Philip started the siege of Perinthus. Philip began another siege in 339 of the city of Byzantium. After unsuccessful sieges of both cities, Philip's influence all over Greece was compromised. However, he successfully reasserted his authority in the Aegean by defeating an alliance of Thebans and Athenians at the Battle of Chaeronea in 338 BC, while in the same year, Philip destroyed Amphissa because the residents had illegally cultivated part of the Chrysaean plain which belonged to Delphi. It was these decisive victories that finally secured Philip's position, with the majority of Greece under Macedonian sovereignty. Philip created and led the League of Corinth in 337 BC. Members of the League agreed never to wage war against each other, unless it was to suppress revolution. Philip was elected as leader of the army of invasion against the Persian Empire. In 336 BC, with the Persian venture in its earliest stages, Philip was assassinated, and was succeeded as king by his son Alexander III, the soon-to-be conqueror of Persia. 
Topic: Assassination. Philip was murdered in October 336 BC, at Asia, the ancient capital of the Kingdom of Macedon. The court had gathered there for the celebration of the marriage between Alexander I of Epirus and Cleopatra of Macedon, who was Philip's daughter by his fourth wife Olympias. While the king was entering unprotected into the town's theatre highlighting his approachability to the Greek diplomats present, he was killed by Pausanias of Orestes, one of his seven bodyguards. The assassin immediately tried to escape and reach his associates who were waiting for him with horses at the entrance to Asia. He was pursued by three of Philip's bodyguards, tripped on a vine, and died by their hands. The reasons for the assassination are difficult to expound fully, there was already controversy among ancient historians, and the only contemporary account in our possession is that of Aristotle, who states rather tersely that Philip was killed because Pausanias had been offended by the followers of Attalus, uncle of Philip's wife Cleopatra renamed Eurydice upon marriage. Cleetarch's analysis Fifty years later, the historian Cleitarchus expanded and embellished the story. Centuries later, this version was to be narrated by Diodorus Siculus and all the historians who used Cleitarchus. According to the 16th book of Diodorus' history, Pausanias of Orestes had been a lover of Philip, but became jealous when Philip turned his attention to a younger man, also called Pausanias. The elder Pausanias' taunting of the new lover caused the younger Pausanias to throw away his life in battle, which turned his friend Attalus against the elder Pausanias. Attalus took his revenge by getting Pausanias of Orestes drunk at a public dinner and then raping him. When Pausanias complained to Philip, the king felt unable to chastise Attalus, as he was about to send him to Asia with Parmenion, to establish a bridgehead for his planned invasion. Philip also was recently married to Attalus' niece, or daughter, Cleopatra Eurydice. Rather than offend Attalus, Philip tried to mollify Pausanias by elevating him within his personal bodyguard. Pausanias' desire for revenge seems to have turned towards the man who had failed to avenge his damaged honor, so he planned to kill Philip. Some time after the alleged rape, while Attalus was away in Asia fighting the Persians, he put his plan in action. Justin's analysis Other historians e Justin suggested that Alexander and, or his mother Olympias were at least privy to the intrigue, if not themselves instigators. The latter seems to have been anything but discreet in manifesting her gratitude to Pausanias. According to Justin's report, he writes that the same night of her return from exile, she placed a crown on the assassin's corpse, and later erected a tumulus over his grave and ordering annual sacrifices to the memory of Pausanias. <laughs> Modern analysis Many modern historians have observed that all the accounts are improbable. In the case of Pausanias, the stated motive of the crime hardly seems adequate. On the other hand, the implication of Alexander and Olympias seems specious. To act as they did would have required brazen effrontery in the face of a military personally loyal to Philip. What seems to be recorded are the natural suspicions that fell on the chief beneficiaries of the assassination, however their actions in response to the murder cannot prove their guilt in the crime itself, regardless of how sympathetic they might have seemed afterward. Whatever the actual background to the assassination, it may have had an enormous effect on later world history, far beyond what any conspirators could have predicted. As asserted by some modern historians, had the older and more settled Philip been the one in charge of the war against Persia, he might have rested content with relatively moderate conquests, e.g., making Anatolia into a Macedonian province, and not pushed further into an overall conquest of Persia and further campaigns in India. Marriages <inaudible> 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 The dates of Philip's multiple marriages and the names of some of his wives are contested. Below is the order of marriages offered by Athenius, 13.557 BE. Adeda, the daughter of Illyrian king Bardalus. Mother of Sinane. Philly of Elimea, the sister of Durdas and Machatas of Elimiotis. Nice Sipolis of Pharae, Thessaly, mother of Thessalonica. Olympias of Epirus, mother of Alexander the Great and Cleopatra. Philina of Larissa, mother of Eridius later called Philip III of Macedon. Meta of Odessos, daughter of the king Cothilas, of Thrace. 
Cleopatra, daughter of Hippostratus and niece of General Attalus of Macedonia. Philip renamed her Cleopatra Eurydice of Macedon. Tomb of Philip II at Agai In 1977, Greek archaeologist Manolis Andronikos started excavating the Great Tumulus at Agai near modern Virginia, the capital and burial site of the kings of Macedon, and found that two of the four tombs in the tumulus were undisturbed since antiquity. Moreover, these two, and particularly Tomb II, contained fabulous treasures and objects of great quality and sophistication. Although there was much debate for some years, as suspected at the time of the discovery, Tomb II has been shown to be that of Philip II, as indicated by many features, including the greaves, one of which was shaped consistently to fit a leg with a misaligned tibia. Philip II was recorded as having broken his tibia. Also, the remains of the skull show damage to the right eye caused by the penetration of an object historically recorded to be an arrow. A study of the bones published in 2015 indicates that Philip was buried in tomb I, not tomb II. On the basis of age, knee ankylosis and a hole matching the penetrating wound and lameness suffered by Philip, the authors of the study identified the remains of tomb I in Virginia as those of Philip II. Tomb II instead was identified in the study as that of King Aridaeus and his wife Eurydice II. However this latter theory had previously been shown to be false, more recent research gives further evidence that Tomb II contains the remains of Philip II. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Cult <laughs> 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 The Harun at Virginia in Macedonia the ancient city of Asia Agai is thought to have been dedicated to the worship of the family of Alexander the Great and may have housed the cult statue of Philip. It is probable that he was regarded as a hero or deified on his death. Though the Macedonians did not consider Philip a god, he did receive other forms of recognition from the Greeks, e.g. at Arizos altar to Zeus Philippios, Ephesos his statue was placed in the temple of Artemis, and at Olympia, where the Philippian was built. Isocrates once wrote to Philip that if he defeated Persia, there would be nothing left for him to do but to become a god, and Demades proposed that Philip be regarded as the thirteenth god, however, there is no clear evidence that Philip was raised to the divine status accorded his son Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Fictional portrayals Frederick March portrayed Philip II of Macedon in the film Alexander the Great 1956. Val Kilmer portrayed Philip II of Macedon in Oliver Stone's 2004 biopic Alexander, opposite Colin Farrell as Alexander the Great and Angelina Jolie as Queen Olympias. Sonny Gonchini portrayed Philip II of Macedon in Siddharth Kumar Tuwari's series Porus. <laughs> <laughs> Games Hegemony Gold, Wars of Ancient Greece is a PC strategy game that follows the campaigns of Philip II in Greece. Philip II appears in the Battle of Chaeronea in Rome, Total War, Alexander <laughs> Dedications Philippos Viria, one of the most successful handball teams of Greece, bears the name of Philip II. He is also depicted in the team's emblem. The Philip II Arena until 2009 known as Skopje City Stadium is a sporting ground in Skopje. Philip II is depicted in the emblem of the 2nd Support Brigade of the Hellenic Army, stationed in Kozani. See also Government of Macedonia Ancient Kingdom References Topic. External links A family tree focusing on his ancestors A family tree focusing on his descendants Plutarch, Life of Alexander Pothos.org, Death of Philip, Murder or Assassination Philip II of Macedon Entry in Historical Source Book by Malin H. Smith Facial reconstruction expert revealed how technique brings past to life, press release of the University of Leicester, with a portrait of Philip based on a reconstruction of his face.
Twilight of the Polis and the Rise of Macedon Philip, Demosthenes and the Fall of the Polis, Yale University Courses, Lecture 24. Introduction to Ancient Greek History The Burial of the Dead at Virginia or the Unending Controversy on the Identity of the Occupants of Tomb II.